Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to see this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join the Happy Christian Family. And also please share with friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. In today's video is a rapture revelation from one of our dear brother. I'm going to read it the same way it was delivered to us. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. Please watch this video to the end as I proceed. My name is Long, from Australia. In my dream, it was a thundery, great dismal world. There were cyclones, strong winds, and a sandstorm. I think I was in a desert with a large body of water to the center. There were many people either congregating or trying to escape, I couldn't tell the difference. It wasn't pleasant, screams and anguish. I likened it to the end of the world and almost like Armageddon. A large grey beast with wings was flying in the sky, its body covered the entire skyline. Its presence dark foul and gloomy. It had a skull as a head and a dragon's body with a tentacle moustache. There were a small number of us on the ground trying to fight it. I went directly under it and tried to fight it. I started praying the Lord's Prayer. It got the beast's attention, but that seemed to anger it. Two men noticed I was in danger and quickly took me to a refuge. They said only Jesus could smite it, and we had to wait for the Lord to return, until then to hang on and try to maintain the battle. At this point, demons started flooding the earth. I was then taken inside a two-story building. In this building, we had to fight off oncoming demons. We were getting pushed back to the top floor one by one, the people in the house who were fighting were all getting corrupted and turning against us. They all converged towards a TV with a tape. This tape had some sort of importance as I was compelled to protect it. As the upper floor was taken off, I went to the balcony. In the balcony, I called for Jesus. Suddenly a tinted glass appeared like the tinted glass in churches. A tinted glass image of Jesus' face, which covered the whole glass window appeared, and the eyes winked. As that happened, the glass window opened. It was Jesus but not in the form we are used to in the Bible and artwork. He took the form of a young Latino man in red shorts. We hugged, I cried mainly because there was so much I wanted to say and talk to him. But there wasn't enough time. He said to me, why are you crying and went to hug me and said everything was going to be okay. After I hugged him, I felt a shock hit my body and I started to convulse. I then woke up. I don't know whether I woke up was him saying it's not the time or whether it's him telling me to continue the fight. On a personal note, the last seven months have seen me encounter supernatural experiences. The truth is I shouldn't be alive today. My first encounter with Jesus occurred in late November 2020 when I found myself bombarded by demonic presences. I found a Bible and started reading it at that time and next thing you know, five hours had passed. The Bible I read had red text in it. Each text felt like it was directed at the individual demonic spirit. One by one, they eventually left me. 
Ever since that encounter, I feel like Jesus has been watching over me. As a result, I'm now a born-again Christian. My mom is Buddhist and has seen my journey over the last seven months. She now believes in God and Jesus because the fact I'm alive today is nothing short of a miracle. This was my experience. So thank you for watching this video to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by sharing to all your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's Word in the days and weeks ahead. I'm grateful to you and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting.